Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 4. In the last episode we pushed on a little bit with the uh, with the plot uh, and we are going to be carrying on with the plot uh, but before we do that it uh, brought us down to Hauzar because we were only 90 renown away from actually ticking this off. That's three side quests or a waypoint and two side dungeons. There's There's lots of different ways that we could do this and speaking of waypoints we actually have a waypoint down here that we can hop down and do. Then we could maybe go to... Well, I was going to say we could go to the Goa Ruins, but that's actually just vanished from the list. We could go to the Serpent Lair uh, and do some Grim Favors, and uh, that will count as a dungeon for us, and then pick up one of the other ones around. I think I'm pretty happy with that as a plan because I want us to have our skill points ready to go. This is going to give us a bit more experience as well, so we're going to be able to do more strongholds, um, and that's that's going to help when we move into Kedjistan. Uh, you know what, it's, it's not worth us sorting out that skull for the moment. Let's just get out there and get to this waypoint. So we're level 27. We're, we're doing okay. We're sort of keeping pace with our... Uh, with the damage and survivability. Um, I've gone through and I've put this, uh, the Devious Heart on and the, the Storm Swell loop. So we've actually got that equipped. And there are more upgrades that we could do. But for the moment, I think I think we're doing okay. Like we don't need, we don't need to massively step up our gear. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I mean, we could do this dungeon on the way through, but I think I'd rather do the waypoint first. Because it's so far away. Get that ticked off. And if we spot any other, like, side quests on the way through, that's cool. We can pick them up. But the focus is really on... getting the waypoint. And maybe there'll be side quests around the town, actually. Guard Bog. Let's pick up some Blight Shade. One thing I should have done, actually, right at the start. Ooh, Silent Chest. It's locked. Well, it's probably not worth us picking that up at this point. We'll grab the Lethal Shrine. Um, I need to make some more consumables, although I do actually have Crushing Elixir. You know what? It'll do. It'll do for now. The extra 5% experience isn't much, and we're not really rushing to high level, but the sooner we get to level 50, the the sooner we can move up to world tier 3. And that's one of the things that we need to do for our season journey, is change the world tier. Alright, while we're here, there is actually no potion vendor, so that is what it is. There's also no, uh, no side quests immediately around this area. Interesting. Okay, well if we're going if we're gonna go here, it's actually gonna be faster for us to come at it from the other angle. So we're gonna redo exactly the same route that we just did. And this is gonna give us five Grim Favors for the Tree of Whispers. You see him trying to chase us down there. Mm-hmm. Super serious business. Now the crushing elixir that we've got at the moment is not really useful to us. We don't do much in the way of overpower damage. Every now and then we will do some overpower, but it's 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 gonna give us negligible benefit overall. Okay, here we go. We've got to travel to the hunting grounds in here. Can I just spawn that down below so it's ready to fight for us? I lack the needed mana. They are giving us some damage over time, aren't they? Oh god, and they So the serpent callers don't call like tiny snakes, they call giant giant oracle snakes. 
That's obviously not cool. Hmm. I see someone down there. Let's... Oh. Can't cast spells over the edge. I was a little hopeful. Little bit hopeful. I don't want to cheese every single encounter. We've, we've had our fair share of, of decent fighting. We do still have the Elixir of Death Evasion available to save us from real problems. But of course, we'd, we'd need to drink it, and I don't want to drink them just willy nilly. Let's get these guys all packed together. Because we have um, no cost on our skills while doing that. Uh, while doing the Inferno. It's... I'm not, I'm not sure what the most efficient way of doing things is. Whether it's just to put down a whole bunch of firewalls. Because they do a lot of damage, but it is over 8 seconds. Whereas this is 59% per second. The second rank that we've got in Incinerate it really does make a big difference. In terms of where we're going to get most benefit for, for putting our points in, like for damage output, I think probably going for the, uh, the Hydra is going to be the most vital to what we try and do. Snake Slayer Challenge. That's going to give us uh, a new prefix and suffix, I reckon. Yeah, Slinking and Charmer. Oh, I can be a Pirate Charmer now. And out of mana. Yeah, that's... Uh, a little bit painful. Missed me. I'm not ready yet. Didn't miss me with that one though. The petrification is is an interesting mechanic for snakes. Okay, we need to find the animus carriers in here. Oh, I I thought my dodge was gonna be enough to get me out of that, but it was not. All done. We're going to do a left wall hug down here. So we're going around this this outer wall on the edge. Really, having some kind of um, like poison resist would probably be the most beneficial to us in this place. You know, it's it's important to tailor your um, your elixirs to where you're going. But at this level, I would hope it's not really strictly necessary. Kind of shrine is that protection shrine? Not a bad thing. We'll we'll leave it for when we come back. No, we'll get it now. <laughs> we'll get it now. I see the animus carrier just down here. I need time to prepare just keep arping the damage on it. Let's get another firewall. And burn him down before we run out. Ooh. I saw a unique item in there. A legendary item, I should say. So we'll definitely check that out in a second. Okay, what is this? Oh, no, it was a helm, not a ring. After spending 130 mana, your next firewall is free to cast and will destroy small missiles. This is cool. I'm happy to wear this. It gives us a rank of Hydra as well. Holy moly. So we need something else imprinted for our barrier. We don't need it right this second, but at some point we will definitely need to do that. So another rank of Hydra. What does the uh, the next level of Hydra do, hypothetically? It doesn't up the damage by much, but it does up the damage.
Hmm. Well, in three levels, we get another um, enchant, so. Maybe we'll uh, we'll have extra hydras out. Because it it does a lot of damage over time. That's the the real benefit. Hey, that's one that destroys incoming missiles. Oh yeah, definitely shouldn't have uh, stood in the middle of that. We are gaining health back from the stuff that's burning near us. But uh, yeah, do not like the poison. Let's let's drink something to help out with that. I like this enchant. This enchant is definitely working for us. I lack the needed mana. Grab all of these. We'll carry on with our hug round here. This is actually really effective for us because one of our one of our issues is choosing to um, to do our incinerate versus our firewall, and we just got a unique ring. Certainly, the unbroken chain lightning has a chance to bounce additional times. Not useful for us. The lucky hit chance is bigger. The damage over time, um, we would lose some critical strike damage. This is worth us moving across to. We're not using the chain lightning, so we're not going to get the benefit of that. But overall, it is a better I need time. lots of poison traps in here. Not particularly fond of those. Focus it down. Get another firewall under it. Yeah, being able to get those those freebie firewalls is is really quite a game changer for the way we're playing. So far, I haven't felt massively in danger, like a little bit in danger now and then, but not, nothing that we haven't been able to handle. Keep the focus, another firewall. Don't be vulnerable. That's a bad idea. I do, I do like the uh, stopping small projectiles. are doing way too much. Let's take you out of the picture. Okay, can I get at that resplendent chest now, please? Oh, there's still someone up there. It's a really unhelpful banshee. He's 
get a pop. And that is the last of the Animus Carriers. And luckily, we've already found this up here. Travel into the Shadow Depths. Much the same as every other dungeon, we know how this is going to go. Ward of Eyes. Mm. Hey! Managed to dodge that one. Did not like it though. Ooh, that's a that's a big one. All right. Drink a potion. I think we might need to uh, just focus on it rather than trying to preserve ourselves too much. Okay, one ward of eyes done. The stun is not cool, but at least it feels like it has diminishing returns. Is that the same guardian thing? Well, at least we've got two done. I really should have a look at our items, but I'm going to wait until we're done with this, I think. Rather than switching and switching and switching. Speak to the Wandering Soul, okay. I will put my skill point in before we do that, though. All right, uh, Endless Pyre improves our damage, that's good. Fiery Surge improves our mana regen, that's also good. Crippling Flames can make them stuck in place. Devouring Blaze, if we've got lots of critical damage, that's great. Or we lean into extra damage reduction. I think extra damage reduction is good but there was also here we go potent warding we'll do a point in potent warding and we'll get that ranked up soon they've been feeding on me my soul please take it back from them Let me Pull them all into the center. So I will just burn everyone in this place. Starting to get a little, little janky. I don't think we're doing enough for it to count, but at least we're gonna 
complete the event. Damage output is just not enough to get them done quickly. Not enough. Sorry, we've still got some mobiles. It's more important than anything else that could have come out of that. We'll grab the shoes. We're actually pretty full of stuff at the moment. I need time to prepare that. One more war device to find. I would love it if my fire could also make them vulnerable. It would be nice to like lean into extra debilitating effects on the on the mobs. Mostly focus on this bloodthirsty one. But also worth us getting the others taken care of as well. Right, you. Relatively, relatively easy for us to just say you deserve to die. There's another trap here. I thought I'd be able to dodge out of the way of that one. Clearly I was mistaken. So this is where we're going to have to move on in a moment, I reckon. Nothing for us to do just yet. There we go, there's the last ward. Ooh. Even more firewalls. And they're slightly frozen, but that's fine. Our firewall's actually protecting us on that. You must nearly be gone. You're just tiny. And there goes the oracle. Ooh, let's back up a little. I am not having you control me beyond that. And out of man. Slightly terrified, but we achieved the objective. Oh my god, there's even more of them. Guys, I just want to loot the room. Learn when to quit, eh? Anything else down here? No. Filled us up pretty good. Filled us up pretty good. Uh, we want to get our barrier back. Because uh, we do do extra damage to vulnerable enemies if we have a barrier. So what we should do is have a look through our stuff and see if there's anything that's immediately worth us switching over to. So... You're a no. I do like the 3% extra lucky hit chance, but... It's not really good enough. What's this? Extra rank of flame shield. We've already got that, but this gives us more other things, so it's better. And no, I much prefer our current helm. We can actually put something in our helm as well, which is worth us considering. 
for our current gauntlets to give us more incinerate. This is probably better for us. We're going to lose the life on kill, but we're not using the legendary ability. And this gives us more lucky hit chance, more cooldown reduction, and more mana cost reduction. So let's switch across. We'll mark that as salvageable. I can go. That really wants to give us chain lightning, doesn't it? Damage reduction from close enemies goes up slightly, but we lose overall damage reduction. That being said... I think I prefer it because of the extra armour. That changes to 37% damage reduction. That's our old one. Three percent chance to execute non-elites is nice, especially because we're going to be adding like twenty percent to that. But it just doesn't have the damage output, so it's it's definitely something that we're going to look at later on. Uh, it'll salvage that, salvage that. I think all the rest is just going to go under the hammer. Okay, very quick stock take. So very quick. It was not very quick, but it was quick enough. The forge is ready. Whatever so, sandwich them all up. This can go. I can break that down. This can go. There we go. There is a forgotten soul. Now we could go to the occultist. Let's bring up the map. And the alchemist is down here as well. So both worth stopping by. And then we'll go to the jeweler and... Actually... Don't need to go to the jeweler. Let's just put that in and chip skull or crude skull, 75 armor, 125 armor. There we go. That's taken us up to 40. It's given us an extra 5% damage reduction. It's, it's pretty big. Okay. Over here, I would like iron barb elixirs, please. Remarkable. And if we're going to go for mm, 35% increased critical strike damage against healthy targets. Interesting. We're not leaning into Uh, we're not leaning into Meteor at all, um, but that's still kind of cool. Right, we could put the barrier on our trousers, put the barrier on our chest. Trousers looks like it's going to be better because we're not going to upgrade them for a while. That's a reasonable imprint. All right. Let's uh let's do some upgrades. Do I care about this? Not really. Okay, uh this was new. Beautiful. Two upgrades. Handy. It's worthwhile at this stage. Two upgrades are new. And then up to the blacksmith. And our new helmet, of course. So we're not going far enough to start eating into our veiled crystals. I want to save them. Come back if you need the forge. But overall, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's another dungeon done in Harazar. If I bring up our thing. So we just need one more side dungeon. And Harazar is done. We get our point. Skill point. 
So let's have a look and see if there's any of these that are going to be beneficial. While you have a barrier active, there's a 7% chance we can ignore direct damage from distant enemies. It's not a bad one to go for. Those are Necromancer and Druid. Using cooldown resource 15 mana, that's an interesting one. Further up here, Brawler's Aspect, Call of the Ancients. Is there another Grim Favor dungeon in this area? I don't think there is. Okay. So we could just do a bunch of Grim Favors. I think doing doing the dungeon is probably going to be our best, best bet. Get us... Get ourselves that skill point and then we can go and do um, waypoints in Kedjistan and stuff like that. So we'll drop off our gems and then we'll head out of Zarbinzet up to the nearby dungeon. So ultimately this is all about getting those extra skill points. And they, they're going to be leaning towards um, survivability. That's that's where we're getting the primary benefit. And then once we've maxed out our survivability side, we can push instead towards boosting our damage. And then th things will start to die a lot faster. It will feel a lot more consistent. Grab the ore, and then we'll just continue on past. Don't mind me, everyone. Just coming up through this area. Nothing much to see. We do want to stop by and do the strongholds at some point, but... It's definitely not as urgent as getting in here and doing this. Into the Lost Keep! Looking at the uh, the loading screen, I've obviously not been leaning into our colour scheme. I think between this episode and the next episode, um, I'll have a look and see... Well, maybe when we reach level 30, actually. I'll have a look and see if there's something I can do that, that looks suitably flamey for us. Always dropping gold behind me. There's so much open space. Firewall is not always the most practical choice in here. Close, get the damage focus on them. You really appearing behind us. <laughs> stop small projectiles. Did not stop that. <laughs> it's no surprise, honestly, but I was like, is it going to stop the shockwave? No, definitely did not. He tried to do something. I should also probably look and see um, 
to see what the next level of firewall would give because I'm I'm equally using firewall compared with putting down the uh, the hydra. Be gone. I didn't actually spot this door before. Okay, first of the actual targets. I'm not ready yet. Just die already! Ooh, vicious malignant invoker. That's cool. Anything we care about on these? No, 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 no. Let's just mark them ahead of time. We head back through. So, there's still two more fractured spirits. I wouldn't have thought you could fracture a spirit, but... I think it would be, I guess, a bit more liquidy in interpretation of, uh, of how it would go if you tried to break it. fine at this point. So let's try and just get them gone quickly. There you go. Let the Hydra do a lot of a lot of the leg work for us. Yeah, I'm I'm curious. Right, okay. So we know that uh, if we put Hydra up, it's gonna be okay. Uh it will do a few more damage per spit, but it spits a lot. It spits a lot. So that could really correspond to a large increase whereas this that split over eight seconds so we would expect to see an extra 10 damage a second coming out of it which is is not terrible Yeah, I think probably the uh, Hydra is where I'll put my initial points. Ooh, Highland boots. They look fancy. Mate, you need to stay still and get burned. And I need to be better at actually putting down my empowered firewalls. Okay, we can't go through there until we've killed that remaining spirit. Honestly, thought we would get him before he had a chance to actually attack. I'm not ready yet. Down you go. Okay, the door has been unsealed. Let's grab these bits. 
That is more damage, but it's a staff, so we'd have to specifically change over to it. And the rest of these are... Ooh, this actually gives us plus one to, to two separate things. So that's got the potential to be kind of cool. Um, maybe later on, if we find a higher level one. Scroll of Escape. We've got a couple of those now. Over to the Desecrated Chambers. This might be enough to take us to level 29. And if it is, that means we're going to get two skill points in very quick succession. Ow. Ow. Guys, guys. Do you want to, like, stop with that? Oh, jeez. Did you not just hear me? Quit, quit it with the massive mace. I'm a big fan of maces. I understand. But enough is enough. Now we're looking for Animus Keepers. There's not enough of them clustering up for us to use our giant fire serpent. That'll do. Toasty, toasty. An animus keeper. Funny enough, we actually got an overpower there. Too late for the uh, for the old elixir because uh, we're now on the iron barbs one. But One animus carrier gone. Yeah, I think actually putting up our incinerate damage might be even better than the Hydra. Because it, it is the thing that we control the most. Focus on your friend. Okay. One more bites the dust. I'm impressed that, that that knight managed to get his shield up. That I thought he was dead. More than just like your regular dead. I thought there, there was no way he was uh, he was going to last more than a second.
more animus carriers up around the corner. Oh sure, if you if you want to stop yourself on the other side and trap yourself in fire, you go right ahead. I definitely do not mind you doing that. I need time to prepare that. Okay, grab all these. There's still at least one more somewhere. I'm not ready yet. Poor guy, he swings so slowly. <laughs> Gotta feel a little bit bad for him. Artillery shrine. Ooh. The temptation is to save this for, through the animus store, but this will actually just make it really quick for us to do something like this. That, that was just insanely fun. Perline boots. And okay, that's where the Animus Holder is. So they must be just up in the next bit. Cool. We'll get a point in. Uh, this point is going to follow the same pattern as the previous one, I think. Do we lean into potent warding? Because it is giving us damage reduction on basically everything we do. We lean into it. That's a no. That's a no. Really wants to give us chain lightning, doesn't it? That's a staff, so it's a no. Happy with what we've got. Let's find this last uh, animus holder. Must be up this way. That was, that was pretty effective. We've, we've whittled him down super fast. Okay. Now we just head back. Take advantage of it. Let's uh, make sure our next firewall is empowered. It'd be good if we can get a better version of that so it's down to just 100 mana. Resurrected Malice. <laughs> Effectively stopping all the ba all of the uh, things that it's launching out. That is actually making me really happy. I'm not ready yet. This is really powerful um, modifier on our firewall. Really, really powerful.
if we're standing on the right side of it. You are going down. Dungeon complete. And with that, our renown for Harazar is done. And we can claim our extra skill point. This point is going to finish off our potent warding. 6% resistance to all elements. Going up to 9% fire resistance for 9 seconds. Can I actually see the resistances in here? Fire resistance. 26 goes up to 33. We only get the benefit once. So if we would cycle, uh, cycle through various elements, we'd probably get more. But I'm still happy with having it rather than not having it. All right, let's, uh, let's head back to town. We're going to salvage up our stuff. Uh, and we're probably going to finish off there, actually. Uh, we do want to go across to Kedistan and start working on the renown for that area. But level 29, we're probably in a position where we can maybe think about... No, these are all nasty. All right, it's going to be side quests in Kedistan. That's how we're going to do this. Uh, we'll probably end up getting all the various waypoints i think that's that's going to be how we'll end up doing it and then we might pick up side quests around the area we do need to pop over to corman's yeah, wagon and we're, we're not going to ignore that um but it's not going to be next time that we do that the forge is always home. so i want that final skill point uh so thank you very much for watching everyone i do hope you have enjoyed this as always, if you have enjoyed it, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 4. See you soon.